Welcome to Pixel Composer 1.0.9, so let's see what new feature we have in this version. First, we have an implicit conversion from text to number. It means that if you drag a text to a number junction, it will automatically convert into a number value. And for animation, we also have a keyframe wrapping mode, which I already explained in the animation tutorial, which allows you to create a delay animation. Then we have a palette value animation, which allows you to add keyframe to the palette values, which will blend between each palette colors. Then we also have a big update to every curve calculation in the software. So in the background, the keyframe easing will work just like After Effects or Blender, but the editing will still be the same with an additional option for a sharp interpolation. So I would want your feedback on the curve editor. Do you actually want the curve editing to be like After Effects editing? Do like you can control like a curve using a Bezier controller? Or do you still prefer the simple easing type and easing handle in Pixel Composer? Next, we have an improvement on the graph panel, a little bit of improvement on the, how the node will be displayed when you zoom out. There's also an option to extract some properties into a separate node. And then we have a lot of new nodes being added to this version. First is the convolution node, which allows you to apply convolution kernel on the image. You don't have to worry too much because a lot of operations here are the same as like blur operation or edge detection. Then we have a switch node, similar to like the switch case, allowing you to create a multiple condition. And then we have the CSV and JSON file read and write node. Then we have a node related to uh, Lua scripting. This is a new feature being added in 1.0.9, allowing you to add a Lua scripting into Pixel Composer. Now the feature right now is still pretty limited because I want Pixel Composer to be like about the node, not programming using script. But if you want to have more feature, then you can give me feedback in each IO, then I might add it in the next version. Currently, there are three different scripting nodes, the global node, the surface, and the compute node. And then we have the equation node. This allows you to execute basic equation and calculate the result. This can use to replace like a complex mathematical equation. If you don't want to use a lot of math nodes shared next to each other, then you can use this compute node or equation node. And it can actually be faster than sharing a lot of math nodes next to each other. Then we have two new 3D primitive nodes to generate a sphere and a cone. And in the generate category, we also have two new nodes, the hexagonal and triangular nodes. And next will be the improvement to the already existed nodes. First, a lot of seed value will now accept decimal values, which allow you to interpolate between seed more smoothly. And then we have an improvement on the 3D object node, which allow you to use perspective camera. And we also add the normal pass to every 3D node. Color replace and also accept palette as an output as well. But now you can do palette swap basically. And the sampler node also can allow sample of a larger area using the sampling size property. And the rest is a bug fix that I got reported from HIO or from GitHub. And also please note that because of the change in how the easing equation works, how the easing work, opening the save file from previous version will give you a warning. And the save file that created in version 1.0.9, we cannot be opened in the older version. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.